I've had some requests to do a clip on what people call shopping. And I don't mean to be mean to people, but shopping is a term that I've only heard used by people that are just starting out. So don't take offense if that's you, but um, if you do all of your steps in training correctly, shopping never comes up. It's not a factor. And so if fetch and hold and hear have been taught, it, it's not a, it, it can't be an issue. But let's say it is an issue. Let's say your, your preparation is not practiced and complete. Again, don't, don't take offense because very few people really are thorough in their basic fundamental work. But nonetheless, let's say you're in, in that predicament. So what we wanna do is have a dog fetch a bumper from a pile and pick that bumper up and none of the others. Or don't go to the pile and nose around and sniff all of them and then finally pick one up and drop it and pick another one up and then after the handler who's hollering here, here, here uh, and finally comes back with the bumper of his choosing. So to, to avoid that or to correct it once it's happened. Step one, don't put 15 bumpers down in a big heap. Spread them out a little bit so the dog doesn't have heel, sit. Such a easy pickings to go through the, all, the, all the bumpers. So like you'd put one there, one there, one there. Now that is, you could call that a pile, even though they're not heaped on top of each other, which you don't want to do. So then you have your rope, which you wouldn't even think about doing this without. And you come up and you say, heel, fetch, here, out. So now, if you do that and develop that habit, then you're going to start to eliminate what you would call shopping. So heel. So now that you get the next one, heel, sit, fetch, heel, heel, sit, out. Good boy. Okay, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Heel, sit, fetch. Good. Heel. Sit, out. So, one, two, three. Start with a pile of three, and then you can move away a little bit, and you're not gonna have your rope, and you're gonna sit here, and you're gonna say, the three parts are, you're gonna say, fetch. As soon as he's got his mouth open, you're gonna say, good. And as soon as he's got it closed, you're gonna say here. And in the beginning, you might say here, Nick, as he starts to come back to you, reinforcing what he's already doing, coming to you, here, Nick. You don't want him sniffing around and say, you know, I'm so happy I have such a huge choice of what I really can do if I feel like it. That's not what's going on here. What's going on here is fetch, go get over there, pick one up and bring it right back. That's what we want. Okay, ready? Ready, where is it? Fetch, fetch, good. Heel, sit. Now once you practice that a little bit, you're gonna find this, this thing you call shopping. It's like, we don't shop anymore because that's not something we do. We don't shop. We, we fetch and return with a bumper. Ready, fetch, good, here. Heel, sit, fetch, hold, hold, good, that's a good boy, he's a very good boy. hold, out, sit, heel, sit, fetch, okay, nay, sit, 
Now, when you've done your homework and you sit, and you have a dog that's fetching like that, there's there's no shopping. It's he wants to grab it and get back to you because he knows getting back to you is where he's going to get the next thing that he wants. He wants to get to fetch again. So he's not going to be piddling around, bumping around with his nose on all those bumpers. So the simple answer to what do I do about shopping with the quotation marks is teach fetch, teach here, develop some excitement and get a dog that is dying to get out there and get back with what he thinks you want so he can get what he wants, which is another go at it.